No, because you're tied to a pole. Someone tied you to a pole, so you're watching. Who this bus. would tie you to a pole? I would tie you to a pole because your luck's gonna run out. So it's, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like uh, Final Destination, where you've just been missing all these opportunities to die, and death's just fucking pissed at you. I want to so. ride a motorcycle really fast up a ramp at and, the Grand Canyon and jump like Thelma and Louise style. Everybody, welcome back to K Love You Bye. Welcome back. Got a good episode for you today. It's number 60. What is that face? Over the hill. What? We are now over the hill. We just mm. hit 60. 60. <laughs> the age. Of where there's nothing left to look forward to except the death. <laughs> <laughs> the bittersweet release of death. Speaking of death, mm. how peaceful do you think it's going to be? Uh, death? Yeah. Like the moment where you are done, you're gone. Done. I guess it depends on how you die. Oh, I guess right, you die in I your guess bed you could sleeping. throw I guess you could throw that in there. No. Yeah. I mean like you get hit by a bus and you see it coming for a, a mile away and you're like <laughs> this bus is going to hit me. I guess I'd be like sure panic and then then it would be probably pretty pretty nice. I bet Maybe. it's I bet it's like a fucking really deep breath after a long day. Like a <sighs> just the release of everything. I bet it's fucking bliss. Mm, depends. In your case, you're going straight to hell. So not going to be bliss. It's going to be yeah. pure torture. You know what? I'm not that bad of a person. <laughs> I agree. On a scale of sinner to sinner. You're a sinner. You're not very far away from me, I don't think. You don't know me. I'm so much better than you. Okay. I live... My life righteously. You do? No, I'm pretending to be you. Oh, I didn't say that. Mm. You're just being fucking extra. Okay, You're so extra bitch. If okay, if you if you don't die from something stupid like a bus that you saw coming and could have got out of the way from. No, because you're tied to a pole. Someone tied you to a pole, so you're watching. Who this bus. would tie you to a pole? I would tie you to a pole. And who would you be watch driving a bus, a bus that far? Long enough to see you. The person who tied you to the pole. Duh. Jesus Christ. Have you never fucking thought of this before? It's like I'm dealing with just that's pure like amateur the, that's hour That's like here. the last way I would have anticipated a bad guy to kidnap somebody in time to a pole and then drive a bus into him. Was this the first thing that popped in my head? Did you, what, There was a movie a long time ago about like a city bus that like... Speed? Is that what it's called? Probably Keanu Reeves. <laughs> yeah. yeah, speed. <laughs> He's like yeah. letting people out of it on like a fucking gurney stretcher, <laughs> yeah. like sliding. Wait, what? When they're going to the other bus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When they're like transferring them to the other bus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's a good movie? Fucking. I haven't, pure, seen, that's I haven't like, seen that movie in years. That is a fucking 90s movie right there. Exactly. Mm-hmm. 90s action right there. I remember watching it as a little kid like, yeah, I love that fucking movie. <laughs> like I was about to like come every thirty seconds or something. It was good so old, exciting. Good old Keanu. Yeah, Keanu. He's. You ever seen him talk about his stunt double? No. He's like, I do my own. He's like, I do my own action, but I don't do my own stunts. And they're like, What do you mean by that? He's like, Well, you know, I'll, I'll get in a fight and I'll do my own like judo and jiu-jitsu and fighting and then when it comes to like jumping off the building when i'm 
about to get beat up and my stunt guy comes in. <laughs> yeah, that's how I would be too. Well, I ain't <laughs> like, jumping off no fucking building. Can't pay me enough. Right. Some of the shit they do is fucking it's nuts. Those, oh, those action movies. Oh, fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. When you like get blown off a skyscraper and I know in like real life it's, they jump from like a 20 foot thing onto a giant foam pad, but. Yeah, still. They do it like they're like got shot and they're dead. Yeah, and they don't fuck it. They don't put their hands on or nothing. They just fucking <laughs> no. land on their face. It's like, you know, it hurts. Right? Yeah. Okay, so back to my question. Well, what was your question? You if, you, question? if you don't die okay. by some stupid outside source, okay, and you make it to old age to where you die of natural causes, how old do you think you're going to make it to? 60. I don't know. Is that a real guess? No. Uh, I don't know. I want like your realest guess. Like, how old do you think your body's going to make it before it says, Brandon, I'm sorry. I say I give it. Fuck you. Um, but probably like 70 to 78. That's a pretty big age gap for being old. 70 to 78? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't I don't know for sure. So I'm kind of giving myself some breathing room. <laughs> what do you think for you? If I'm being real, uh, honestly, I, I'm probably going to do something I'm probably going to end up doing something stupid along the way. So I don't know if I'll make it to the old age thing, but yeah, you're going to be 60 on a scooter and you fall and snap your neck. Yeah. Bust your hip. And then you're fucking going to bleed internally. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, just die. A p- I would, death. dude, I bet you, I would give myself 83. 83. I bet I make it to 83. You're optimistic, huh? Optimistic yeah. fella. Yeah. 83. Yeah. Well, cause usually, I mean, what are you dyslexic? Because I give you thirty-eight. <laughs> the, well, the way the way that uh, the way that my luck goes, though, like I just get like a little bit hurt most of the time. Yeah, but your luck will run out eventually. Yeah, when and I'm, it's gonna when be I'm some, eighty-three. No, like any time from now on, because it'll be something stupid. Like you'll be walking and trip on a blade of grass and snap your neck, dead. Or no, no. What am I gonna snap my neck on though? It, anything. Because your luck's gonna run out, so it's, just, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like uh, Final Destination, where you've just been missing all these opportunities to die, and Death's just fucking pissed at you. And he's like, "Oh, here's a fucking here's a feather," and you trip on said feather, and you fall, and there's a stick sticking out of the ground in the perfect shape of a sword, and it's gonna go right through your eye socket, and then you're gonna die, and blood's gonna come out your mouth and your eyes, well, your other eye because the one eye is. Well, I guess both. But you're going to see it as much as the one. You want to know what I think? Ears bleeding. Pooping I, yourself. I think death is going to throw a feather at me. Yeah. And God is going to reach out and grab it and put it in his hat. And yeah. then he's going to pat me on the back. Yeah, because you don't think God and death work hand in hand. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking naive. He's going to save me. Yeah. Why would he Why would he save you? Because I'm, I'm a great person. You know, I there's I do so many so many great things, and they get overlooked by a couple bad ones, mm-hmm. which you know technically I've never really done anything bad. Well, you know what they say: you could do a hundred good things, or a hundred things right. You do mm-hmm. one bad thing, and that's all people are gonna remember is that one bad thing. Yeah, I mean, realistically, I don't do bad things. I do dumb things. Well, and the dumb things usually involve nobody else getting affected by them other than me. Usually. And usually it's just because I'm having too good of a time. Yeah. That's normally. Other than that, I'm a pretty fucking pretty great person. So wh- what do you think you're going to be like when you're older? Are you going to be outgoing and shit? Like riding electric scooter? Oh, well, dude, I'd, I'd probably be like hoverboards or something. Dude, then, but. I'm going to be that fucking leathery tanned old fat fat fucker yeah that's wearing tiny tiny shorts with my balls hanging out the side <laughs> no oh, shirt yeah. on anywhere yeah because your balls your dick's gonna be even smaller than it is Dude, now and your balls are gonna I'm, be fucking i'm going to be like huge i'm gonna be that guy that you see tanning by a pool in florida yeah and you look <laughs> at him and you go dude you you're done. You you can't get any more. You're you're tanned out. 
man. Yeah. Why are you why are you doing that? You're gonna be like that guy in that. I don't know if it was a commercial or if it was just a video that somebody was taking. It was like this old guy he had a big old gut, and he was sitting like in front of a table, and some like hottie walks by, and he like sucks it in. And she, she like gets by and he lets it out and it fucking hits the table and knocks the table over. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah. Be, I can see Dude, that being I, you. when I'm when I'm old, I'm literally going to be that old pervy guy, oh. that old perv that like walks by and is like buttering up a, a little cute girl at the bar, you know, and put my arm around her and giving her the little elbow and don't you know, say it like that, sweetening her up. That's weird. And then, and then. uh you know, her boyfriend's getting mad and like one of her friends comes up and is like, don't worry about him. He's old. And then I'll look over at him. I'll be like, hmm, I'd worry, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, how many dudes get fucking pissed at an old guy that's smoozing on their fucking lady? Dude, I bet you, I bet you there's a lot. No, they're probably I bet really you there's a lot then, and like they're, they throw a fit about it. Yeah. And the whole time that old guy, he's fucking like, oh, you give me one little inch, girlfriend. <laughs> and I'll give you an inch, baby. And I'll, yeah, give, you the, you. I'll give you the last inch I got. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to be, I'm just going to be an old crotchety f- old fuck. Just you're going to be a grumpy dude. I'm going to be a grumpy man. Yeah. So, okay. So you're going to be the old grumpy guy and I'm going to be the old perverted guy that's that's yelling. I feel like we're going to be <laughs> like sitting on my porch or something. We'll be out, me and you will be sitting out there fucking drinking our beer or tea or whatever. And uh, some like hottie's going to walk by or something. You're going to be talking like, well, hey, you're a pretty lady. Burr, burr, burr. And I'm going to yeah. sit, be sitting next to you like, get off my fucking lawn, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be us. I can see that. <laughs> All the neighborhood kids will be scared at your house. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Colby, quit talking to the people. They're gonna keep coming over here. Uh <laughs> we're gonna have to get uh we're gonna have to get one of those swings. Those like swing bench like porch chairs. Swings? Yeah. <laughs> so we can sit on them. No, no, rocking chairs. Bench swing. Yeah, rocking chairs. Rocking chairs. We got rocking chairs with a little table. We're going to have an ashtray because we're going to be smoking stogies. Okay. And we're going to be either drinking beer or tea, depending on what time of the day it is. Well, it ain't going to be tea. If it's if it's tea, it'll be twisted tea. No, like, not like. When I'm that not old like, and I have nothing to uh, do. Reginald, we're going to have our tea and crumpets today. I'm talking about like tea, like sweet tea, like southern sweet tea you're sitting on. That's what I picture when you're sitting on a porch. Well, you can. Sweet but when tea. I'm that age and I have nothing better to do, I'm going to be drunk all the time. Well, maybe. That's what's going to get me. Yeah, when I re- when I'm liver. retired, your liver is definitely gonna shut down, dude. It's either going to fucking, it's either gonna fucking start hitting leg day twice a week and carry my ass to 83, or it's gonna just give out. Yeah, one of the two. Yeah, God, I can't wait. That sounds like so much fun. I'm definitely gonna do a bucket list. I think I gotta make one, but dude, there will be a like like that movie, The Bucket List. I guess I was like, what the fuck is it called? But it's The Bucket List. We just go through and do their bucket list items when they're old we should fuck. we should make we should sit down and make a bucket list yeah oh my god I'm of like fucking see I'm already grumpy we should make a bucket <laughs> <laughs> we should make a bucket list of shit that like we want to do together uh huh you know what I mean like skydiving we'll save that one to the end tandem skydive yeah uh-huh. uh we could throw base jumping in there though. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to want I want to ride. I go on a roller coaster now and I get hurt. I want to so. ride a motorcycle really fucking fast up a ramp at and, the Grand Canyon. And jump like Thelma and Louise style? And and then like we hit it. Like you ride one, I ride one, big wide ramp. We hit it together. Soon as we get off the ramp, we go, hey, high five. I have a better idea. And then we throw the chutes out and we base jump into like the bottom of the Grand Canyon. I have a better idea. We're not on motorcycles on our own. You're on a motorcycle or I'm riding the motorcycle. And one of us, doesn't matter who, is in a sidecar. Sidecar? Yeah. Well, that'd be fucking. And we have to have dude. the fucking little hats with the goggles and shit. And the, the scars the fucking scar. blowing. <laughs> dude, do you imagine? How many YouTube fucking if you if you did film that video right with like the the correct 
cinema quality style. You wouldn't even need for that kind of video. You Dude, wouldn't need cinema if, quality. You would have to have a drone with like like eight K cameras under it. Well, by then it'll like, be like twelve K. Like 16. running running next to you and like circling around, so you get like the full panoramic, like what's happening. Yeah. And then, like, as you go up and you launch, and we give high fives, and we're like, yeah, and the fucking camera's right there. You know how many we give, have? Ooh, this is what we do, okay? We give high fives. We both look at the camera, we salute, and we fucking, poof, tush. You know, I don't know what the sounds it would make, but I, I feel like that's close to what the sounds would be. And then, dude. <laughs> All right, bucket list item starting now. Start, start it up. Yeah. That dude, we're doing tandem that. base jump with a okay. So <laughs> with motorcycle. I'm gonna go ahead and remind you guys right now because this idea is fucking great, and I really want to do it one day. So it's up to you. Button right here, right there. Hit that button. Subscribe. Right. I gotta look over here. Hold on. Right. Oh my god, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Which way do I go? Hit. Right in here. Some. It's uh, inverted. Yeah. In there somewhere. It's inverted. Like my penis. Uh, <laughs> Hit that button, subscribe, make sure you follow our content because you're going to be the ones that make that video happen one day and we're going to hold you to it. Holy fuck, we are going However, to make that video. However, we're going to have to like do some some bull fuckery where there's like no no gasoline in the thing or something because I guarantee the the uh, environmentals and shit are like, "Oh, you can't you can't jump a motorcycle off this and then it blows up and spews gasoline everywhere and emissions and all that shit i've got it and trash metal and all that shit i've got it electric motorcycle nope no oh, that's gay as fuck <laughs> got it we're gonna rig the bike okay and the sidecar okay with with fucking explosives okay i don't we're see going how this to, is gonna we're going to jump okay we leave the well, bike i get it we, we give it. the high fives we salute the camera yeah one of us will have the detonator. We'll give it a few seconds because it's going to fall faster than us. It's heavier. The bike. The bike. Mm -hmm. Let the bike fall. <laughs> By that time, the drone will go way down and watch the bike blow up. Watch it go down in like a fireball. It'll like go fireball. down and it'll watch the bike blow up. Yeah. It'll burn up all the oil and all the gas before it gets to the bottom. Then the drone will then spin and look straight up as we pull our chutes. It'd be like, it'd be like, we have one shot. <laughs> we have, yeah, we have we, one shot. We have to yeah, do it if, right first if, time. Because if we're old, there's absolutely no chance in hell we're going to be able to do that twice. No. 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 One of us might have an actual fucking coronary doing it the first time. <laughs> I just pictured it too. I picture like us, we're, us like going to like give, like salute or like launch out. And then I just look over and see you just like. Dude, <laughs> you fucking have heart attacks. You don't pull your shoe. You just fucking float out. As we're leaving the ramp, you're getting ready to let go of the bike. And you see my head. I'm just, I'm in the in the sidecar. Just <laughs> no, no, not even in the sidecar. I, I see you like going out of the car and just you like you, when you see a whale jump out of the water and just yeah. like Arm to the side. You know? I just see you doing that like. <laughs> <laughs> Like weekend at Bernie style, just the fucking Dude. dead corpse just floating. <sighs> okay, oh, so that would be fucking epic. That would make some. That would probably get like the most YouTube views that ever. ever. Dude, that would be amazing. That would be an amazing video. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so that's one bucket list item. Yeah, we got the list started. We need to. We need to just keep adding to this fucking thing because I'm one of those firm believers. When you get old, like retirement age, and you work your whole life, right? You retire, and you always hear that fucking story or that tale of, oh, so-and-so fucking retired. Six months later, he was dead. Yeah. You know, and they, and they say, like, you hit retirement, and then you just slow down. Yeah. And all of a sudden. Well, I mean, that, that happened to a friend of our, a friend of the family's that he retired. It? And, yeah, not very long after, he, he died. But. Fucking it will see if it if it's I not, have to um yeah, if it's not that, it's gonna be something like you're just so bored and you don't know what to do with yourself, so you just go back to work. Yeah. Like I don't wanna do I don't wanna work now. No. You know what working I mean? Like, sucks. Working is awful. You know, okay, so four day work week. I'm gonna say it. 
until and every day until we get shit, it. So you know, like when we go get breakfast and shit on some days mm-hmm. when we're at work, like we're like, hey, let's let's get breakfast this morning. Yeah. We should do that tomorrow. Okay, I'm in. Yeah. Uh, you go to the breakfast joint, and it's full of old people. Yeah, because that's all they have, right? It's and like, I'm think like I keep thinking to myself, like, how great would it be till just nine o'clock in the morning? Just yeah. you're you're done with breakfast. You're just thir- cup thirteen of coffee. Yeah, you've been there since five o'clock. And but I was gonna ask you, what do you think our like morning routine is gonna be when we're that old? Oof! Like, d- get rid of the front porch thing. Like our morning. Initial meetup for early morning coffee before the sun's up. Like, where are we going? What are we doing? Before coffee. Yeah. No, like, where are we going to meet up for coffee? Where are we going to meet up for coffee? Yeah, like, what's going to be our fucking, our place? Somewhere on the lake. I'm sure there'll, by then there'll be something on the lake if there isn't already. That's a good idea. We should. Hey, hit that subscribe button so we can start a coffee shop on the lake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh it's go out there and bullshit. Because like right now, like I'm, th- dude. I think we need to find we need to find a bar that opens early, so that we can literally be like, hey, yeah, we'll take our coffees and our breakfast. We'll eat our breakfast, our coffee, and then they'll clear our plates and they'll be like, you want another cup of coffee? We'll have a few more, and then we'll be like, well, all right. I suppose it's time to switch. <laughs> all right, take a bush light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've thought about that. Like you know, I. Out of all my friends that are, like, I consider nearest, dearest to my heart right now, out of all of those friends, how many of those are going to be, like, early morning fucking coffee crew oh, when we're old? You know what I mean? I'll definitely be me for forever. Yeah. Blood bluttered. Blood bluttered. I'm a early bird. I blood bluttered or did you? You blood, I blood bluttered or did you? When you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I did when you were awake. It was just that quick. Um, I can't wait for that. I cannot fucking wait for that. I can wait. I still uh, got plenty of shit I want to do before I'm old and fucking crotchety. Old, um, okay, so speaking of old, Mitch McConnell. Mit, yeah. The yeah. Vi- so the video of Mitch McConnell literally having a stroke on national television. Having something, yeah. Which they, I don't know if they ever said what the fuck happened to him. Well, he had had a stroke prior. Not that, that day or anything, but like. Yeah. Before he had some sort of stroke I, I wonder if he just, like, I wonder if he, because of the stroke, he just, like, lost everything for a moment. Like, yeah, where he was, what he, what he was doing. Well, but, real quick, before you before you say your thing, there's also a uh, uh, conspiracy theory about that, too. Like, there was the <laughs> lizard people or something. Like, yeah. some lady came up and, like, poked him with something. And as soon as she did that, like, he turned into, like, the zombie thing or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the whole point of it was, but that so was another thing. I anyway. watched that video a couple of times and I didn't see like the lizard lenses mm. on his eyes. Not on him. But it, but it could have been like a holograph. Not on him. It was, was some, it was some lady next to him and then some dude behind him or something. Normally the lizard people, like you catch them in videos and they blink their second eyelids. They blink eyelids their and second shit. eyelids. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, whoa. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> that guy. Saw, I saw lizard, that. Lizard person. Lizard, he's a lizard person. <laughs> anyway, what were you saying? So Mitch McConnell and that fucking shit that happened to him, like, right? I'm a, I'm a firm believer. When I get to like that age, if something like that happens to me and you're around, punch me in the fucking face hard as you can. Yeah, snap me the fuck out of it quick. Okay, because I don't want it to turn into anything else. And I was thinking, like, you know, what could? You, if you're sitting there, like. <sighs> Like, what's going to get you out of that? Somebody hits you in the face, you're coming back to reality pretty quick. Maybe. Ooh, fucking we need to just, get me. We need to just have fucking, fucking smelling salts on reserve. Just fucking hit you with that shit. Dude, the, the one thing in this world that scares the shit out of me, like heart attack, no, I don't, I'm not scared of it. Like, if I'm going to die of a heart attack or I'm going to live through a heart attack, great, whatever, get me. It probably suck, though. The thing that scares me is a fucking stroke. The one thing that I hope to God doesn't happen to me is a stroke, which my grandfather had too. He passed away. He had blood clot issues. My dad has blood clot issues, lost his leg. 
Not looking good. Uh, but maybe I'll skip a generation. Fuck. Maybe I'll have my sister instead. Maybe. <laughs> we can- <laughs> you only be so lucky. <laughs> just kidding. Shelby, I'm just kidding. I love you. You yeah. are gay, but I love you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that would suck. I wonder what she's, she's going to be real fucking bitchy when she's fucking old. My sister. Why? God. Well, a couple reasons. Uh, first reason, she's a redhead. She is also. Yeah. She's redhead. <laughs> Two, she's really like planning, planning my way. Like anything you do, you start making a plan, and she'll put input into it, and then it's that's how it's gonna. That's the way we're doing it. You think she'd be pissed if she dies the way that she didn't want to die, or like she doesn't die the way that she planned to die? Yep, she'd be pissed by yeah. it. Oh, and uh, reason three, she's gay. So yeah, dude, she eh, Shelby, love you to death. Uh, I bet she's gonna be feisty as fuck as an old as an old lady. Oh, probably. She's gonna. She's. Gonna you are like going a- to see a YouTube video of me and Shelby, literally MMA fighting when at, we're old. That's guarantee it. Yeah. Because by that time, I'm not gonna feel bad about just whopping her. She. <laughs> no, probably not. No, I'm gonna be like, you know what, you old bag of fucking wrinkles, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna be one of those ladies that has like a little cane. <laughs> little cane walker deal and she's gonna be fucking just like smacking people with it and Dude, shit you know she was she was on that realm so like in 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 iowa woman's wrestling in high school is like a even younger now like there's women's girls wrestling as young as it goes all the way through high school and there's a it's its own thing now mm-hmm. whereas it used to be if you were a girl and you wanted to wrestle you would wrestle the boys and you'd occasionally have like one team the whole season that would have one girl on it, and she was probably usually pretty good, but always got whooped. Yeah, in high school. But now it's all separate, and and women compete against women, and it's blowing up. Women's wrestling in Iowa is fucking huge. Well, wrestling in general in Iowa is huge. Well, my sister was right on that, like that cusp of the transition where like it just unrolled actually she might have missed it it was like right there where she was in high school and it was still i think like you have to wrestle with the boys yeah and then like she graduated and then it was like women's wrestling uh but my my sister my sister i've seen her wrestle guys that are full grown men about her same size maybe a little bigger yeah and she'll fuck them up my sister can wrestle i guess you'd be pretty feisty and wiry you know so there was there was this time i came home on leave and me and shelby were i I came home and i was at my mom and dad's place and a little push a little shove a little headlock a little grab next thing i know shelby's on my back she's got me in a rear naked choke and she's got these tiny little arms right Mm -hmm. and she sunk them in. I mean, I couldn't get my chin tight enough to my chest because her arms were so little. They just right in there. And she started squeezing. And I was like, <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I'm I'm going. Wasn't going to tap to my sister. So did what any honest man should do. Punched her. I pinched her. Oh, he pinched her. <laughs> she let go because I pinched her fucking hard. She let go. I grabbed her, threw her on the ground really aggressively, and I was like, I win. I <laughs> uh, was not going to tap to my little sister choking me. So basically you lost. No. No. Pretty much. You pretty much lost. No. It went from a unrefereed judo match to a unrefereed street fight. I had to do what I had to do to win. No cheating mm. in street fights. Well, I suppose that's true. Anyway, uh, she's gonna be she's gonna be a spitfire. She, yeah, and I think Jaden. I think Jaden's gonna be that old lady that just has her tits out, <laughs> like doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, like t- 
to that point where it's like it's gonna be a Sturgis rally and shit. Fuck, tell that old woman put her fucking tits away, and she's just gonna be like, "Quit fucking looking if you don't like them." <laughs> and fuck you. <laughs> and I'll be over there fucking shaking one, looking at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. You see that? <laughs> boobies, boobies. Yeah, you'll be that old guy, just like <laughs> boobies. Yep. Dude, I can't fucking wait. Did you know that old people don't sweat as much as young people? I could see that. Well, because old people are always cold. Yeah, they don't. Old people like don't sweat. Yeah, like my mom. There's some that do, but there's a lot of old people. Yeah, they don't sweat anymore. My par- well, that's probably why they always keep their because like my parents, they keep their fucking their house at like seventy eight or eighty in the like, winter, in the summer. What? Yeah, I was over there the other day. I was like fucking dying. Right. And I'll, I'll have mine like 70, 72. 72 is like high. That's like if I'm getting cold, I'm turning up 72 to get warm. Uh, she, she'll come over there and she'll have like a fur coat on and shit and just like be fucking freezing at 70 degrees, 72. Old people, man. Dude. It's a thing. Like they, they lose they lose body fat and shit or something or muscle. And I keep mine at 70 because I'm a cheap ass. And I don't want to pay for the AC. Mm. And... Like, there's sometimes at night, 70 is too warm, and I can't fall asleep because it's too hot. So I, like, turn it down to, like, 68 at night. Yeah. And then I'll, like, sleep without a blanket on for a little while till like, the AC gets her nice and cold. Yeah, I like to keep it at, <clears> at 70 <throat> in general just because of the power thing. That's, that's 68 is, like, perfect. That's one thing that I hope I don't I don't get, as, like, as I get old, is, like, that. The, that, like, I'm cold and it's... It's cold out. all the time, yeah. I think I'm going to because I'm kind of a bitch about, like, when it starts getting cold. Like, my if my lower back gets cold, I'm fucked. Yeah. Uh, dude, I'm I think done. that's just old people in general, though. Like, they just can't handle cool air. Or, mm-hmm. you know, it's just... I hope that don't happen uh-huh. to me. And it's probably going to happen. I mean, if, if, that, if that happens to me, I'm going to have to start coming up with like super cool fucking jumpsuits to wear super cool like if i have to be like like a romper like warm all the time <laughs> you're gonna wear a romper like a sweat like a <laughs> i'm gonna ha- i'm gonna wear yeah dude i should make start making a bunch of like sweatsuit rompers hmm. like a one-piece fucking romper yeah sweatsuit yeah Never. He's looking bugs. I know. I fucking hate bugs, dude. Dude, bugs are going to piss me off even more when I'm old. I guarantee it because I'm not going to be able to, you know, I'm not as fat. I won't be as fast. So I won't be able to fucking uh, swat them and kill them, you know? I watched a really funny video the other day that was like fucking 12 minutes long mm-hmm. on YouTube. I was scrolling through YouTube and I was just watching a bunch of different like content creators and shit. And I was kind of like just going outside of my realm of the normal people out that I watched shit on. Yeah. And I found this video and it was like, an, it was just an old person standing on the video and I clicked on it and it was 12 minutes of old people falling down. <laughs> I have not laughed that hard for fucking 12 minutes straight in so long. Yeah. Every fucking old, like when old people fall, it's slow motion. It, everyone is slow motion, and yeah. none of them, none of them try to catch them. It's like they forget. Yeah. They that, have an hour while they're falling to try to catch themselves, and they just, ooh, 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 ooh. Dude, honestly, like, because that it's happened. so funny. That it happened so to funny. my grandma. Twice, I remember. One time I was in Mexico. We were, like, the fucking, uh, uh, the tide went out, so we were all on the rocks and shit, and she slipped and fell. And that was, like, understandable. But there was another time, she was... <clears throat> we are all in this one room and she was up on a ladder, like one step up, you know? And I was probably from, from you to me right? distance wise or whatever. And she started falling and like, it's like super slow motion, but I froze. Like I could have caught her. Yeah. I was a kid, you know, still. Yeah. Uh, so I probably still could have caught her, but, but uh, yeah, it was slow motion. I could have caught her, but I just froze. I stood there and watched as her slow motion fall to the ground. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, I guess I was in shock. I don't know. Like, I couldn't believe she was falling right in front of me or something, dude. But yeah, it's slow motion, and and it's like as soon as they know they're falling, their brain just stops working. 
Yeah. Because they don't do anything to catch themselves. They just. I think it's like a defense mechanism. Like, because they're so old and fragile, <clears throat> their brain shuts down, right? So they're, like, they're falling. So their brain shuts down so they don't feel as much of the pain because they know they're going to get fucked up. So, <laughs> okay. So we had brother cousin's wedding last weekend, right? Yeah. Uh, they opened up the dance floor and we were all out there dancing. And me and Ruby were dancing. And, and my grandpa, my grandpa loves dancing. Mm -hmm. He's like in that generation where like dancing is, he wants to be on the dance floor fucking getting after it. So me and Turtle's brother, Mike, yeah, we were doing uh, a rare rendition of uh, like a native tribal serenading kind of dance that we made up on the fly because we were drunk. <laughs> and we were out there and then all of a sudden like some Nicki Minaj song came on and everyone was like fucking out there bouncing and shit. And my grandpa's out there with us, and he's he's out there bouncing and doing some fancy footwork shit. And the next thing I know, I look over, I go, oh, he's leaning forward a little far on that jump. <laughs> and no. he just couldn't quite get it back. And he went, dun, 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 and he went down. But the thing about my grandpa that's always fucking been crazy, right, is this this guy, he's so agile as an old guy. Yeah. Like he he moves like he's in his like late fifties, but he's upper seventies, mm -hmm. and he went down, tucked, rolled, did like a somersault, and put put his feet down, and Stood he up. <laughs> almost came back up. Oh man, he just like didn't quite have like the the Come core the, the core and the legs yeah. to get it. So he kind of like went back down on his butt and then like spun around and my sister like grabbed him and one hand just gave him like a tug like he got tackled in football and up he popped, did a little jump back on his feet. And Dancing like, shit. <laughs> it's like, that is how I need to be yeah. when I get up there like that because my God, he, dude, he goes to the grocery store, right? He goes, well, I went to the store the other day and I fucking waited in line and all these goddamn old fuckers are there to counting pennies and taking their goddamn time. And I couldn't get through the line. And I'm like, Grandpa, how, how old were they? Well, oh, I don't know. I, they're probably 70. And I'm like, you're 70 fucking eight. <laughs> like, in his mind, he thinks he's not old. Yeah. Like all these other people that are, if they got a cane, they're a fucking old bastard. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, That's the way you got to be. Dude, I, I hope I have the agility that my grandpa does when, oh, yeah. when I'm that age. Cause if, if I can't get around, dude, I'm going to be, I think we're gonna have to switch places. I'm going to be the ornery motherfucker. I don't care. Well, I, maybe we could just both be ornery. <clears throat> Cause dude, I, I can guarantee. I'm you already know how grumpy many times now. cops are going to get called if we're both grumpy. Ooh, yeah. But who cares? They're going to come and be like, what were they going to arrest us? Well, I'll probably tell them fuck off too. Yeah. But get out of here. You fucking bitch. Well, no, you got to be careful. I've seen a few videos of them guys with, like, old guys get mouthy. They're not doing anything. They just tell some young cop, fuck you, leave me the fuck alone. I didn't fucking go nowhere. And they, like, tackle them mm. like there's some fucking young kid. Yeah. That's all the time we got for tonight, dude. Dude, Reno. Baba Gadoosh. I'm going to leave us with this question, though. What is going to be... That one word that we say all the time as old guys, that young kids are going to be like, what the fuck are they? Mm. You know what I mean? Like that one word that like your grandpa used to say that. <laughs> fuck, I don't know. When my, when Queef. My, when my grandpa gets mad at people, he calls them maggots. Maggots? Yeah. Mm. It's just like, a, like, it sounds like something an old guy would say. It is, yeah. Or in, uh, young kids. People our age, when you are in a confrontation with somebody, norm, normal people yell, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. My grandpa says, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm going to throttle you. There, there it is. Throttle. You heard it here. Throttle. That yeah. word's going to stand the test of time. Yeah. So uh, thank you all for right, joining guys. us on this episode, <clears throat> everybody. Ooh. What? Before we leave, real quick, head over to Rusty Lids. 
Check out all their fucking hats. They are amazing. Make sure you use promo code love you L O V E U for your K Love You Buy discount. Letter U. Letter U. It'll be your next favorite app. Love you guys. Love you. Fuck you. Fuck you, you dumb young bastard. Get fucked. Get fucked. I'm gonna throttle you. <laughs> K Love, love you, you Bye. I'm chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn. All these girls have cowboy boots and wear their Wrangler near fuck me in the butt hole. <laughs> uh, take two. I'm chasing their butt cheeks. Up and down the corn All these girls have cowboy boots And carry around their pitchforks Chasing their butt cheeks Up and down the corn All these girls have real nice butts And wear those Wrangler jean shorts <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dude uh, Pull chocks Pull chocks Thank you.